Dog rescues across Virginia state lines are speaking out about a rehab center in Virginia Beach. Forever Homes Rehabilitation Center on Broad Street provided a pit bull for adoption Wednesday. That same night, it mauled a woman in her 90s. She died Thursday morning. Chinu Heard talked to other organizations that are claiming bad practices at the rehab center. Well, Regina, two rescues in Connecticut reached out to me last night after our story aired about that attack. One asked to stay anonymous. Another provided paperwork from when they did business together. They say the dogs they sent to Virginia Beach were only here for about 28 days out of a three-month commitment before they took them back. After a woman in her 90s died following a dog attack, People familiar with Forever Homes Rehabilitation Center started reaching out to 13 News Now. They shared complaints. They made claims. All of them directed at the center that adopted out the pit bull that attacked. Among the people who contacted us, leaders of two animal rescues in Connecticut. One of those people said her particular rescue sent dogs to the rehab center in December 2014. Weeks later, her group, as well as the other one, took all of their dogs back. The other group is rescued in the nick of time. The founder told 13 News Now that her dogs were in Virginia Beach for a few days. She couldn't get a hold of anyone at the rehab center. She called, she emailed, nothing. She and other people drove down from Connecticut unannounced, only to be told they had to leave their property. Staff members brought the group's dogs outside. The founder sent us these documents to show that there was a business relationship between the rescue and the center. One, a form with guidelines FRHC gave her when she first contacted the center. The other, a final evaluation of one of the dogs she sent there. Once that dog and others got back to Connecticut, the founder put them in another rehab center with Mary Beth Stark. What were the dogs like when she brought them to you from Virginia Beach? Um, they were very fearful, fearful, and um, not, uh, you know, obviously they shouldn't have been with a lot of other dogs, but uh, as I said, I've worked for dogs, I'm in my 50s, I've worked with animals my whole life. Um, these dogs were obviously mistreated. Stark says the death in Virginia Beach was sad for her and others in Connecticut. Do you think what happened in Virginia Beach could have been prevented? Oh, absolutely, yeah. A director from the center gave us this statement exclusively. It says FHRC was cleared this morning of any and all contributory negligence in the death of Mrs. Patterson's mother by the state vet and animal control. FHRC cannot make any public statement at this time as the Patterson family is pursuing their rightful legal solutions. Now, we did pull state inspection reports for the rehab center for the past few years, although one of those inspections back in early 2015 found problems including poor crate conditions and poor ventilation and found that a dog died after others attacked it. Every inspection since then found no issues of noncompliance. Again, only that one inspection showed any problems with compliance. Chinu Hurt, 13 News Now. Tonight